Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I have to wipe my eyes, seriously, after that piece by Vivaldi. And I'm really excited to wrap the show up with our superintendent of the Park City High Schools, or Park City Schools. I would love to first ask you, Jill Gilday, yes. what is the role of a superintendent? The role of the superintendent is you're overseeing all of the academic business and operational aspects of the school district. So you're really overseeing the entire system. The entire system of schooling, which there's a lot of entities there. Um, we have several different topics to cover today because that's how amazing our schools are. We're just hitting achievements here and there. Where do you want to start with? Absolutely. Well, um, we've been, we launched our Future of Education Learning Summit um, this month. So we're really looking at the future of Park City Schools and what is education and the learner experience going to look like for the next 10 years. So what does that mean? What did you launch? So we've been working with our community, doing an open house to kind of take some input. And then we also had a Future of Education Summit where we had educators, business leaders, parents, and students with us for a full day. Mm -hmm. So they donated a full day of time, if you can imagine wow. that, um, really trying to map out what these educational specifications will look like for the future. And so I'm assuming the future for these kids are looking bright. Absolutely, absolutely. Our class of 2018 just had their ACT scores come back. And our Park City School District average for our students is 23.7, which is well above Utah's average of 20.4 or the national average of 20.8. So our kids, that really means that they're prepared to take college level classes. Absolutely, congratulations to you guys to get both above the national average and the Utah average. Absolutely. A huge accomplishment right there. It's exciting. And it shows a lot of you know what the teachers are putting in to their children every single day seriously huge accomplishment and as well you had three semifinalists we've had them all here on the show for the National Merit Scholarship absolutely huge deal absolutely the kids are so dedicated to learning just really. congratulations on all aspects of the academics here in Park City thanks yeah the kids are amazing that's <laughs> a highlight definitely the highlight the educators are wonderful and the, the kids are amazing families are terrific and really care about their schools another uh, fun thing coming up on Wednesday is educational support professionals day so ESP day and that's uh, statewide and that anybody who's not a teacher but still supports our learners so you've got everything from the person that greets the students in the morning when they get on the bus all the way through their lunch period um, all the with playground supervision all the way to the end of the day so any of those people that support learning all of our um, administrative assistants who you know, take the phone calls from parents if kids aren't feeling good you right. know all of those people will recognize on Wednesday and thank them for their everything they do to help our learners yeah all their services okay moving on from the academics a really cool opportunity the Park City High School just had the opportunity to be a part of was the football national or semifinals? Semifinals, First okay. Time in nine years, so we're a team to watch for sure as we keep going. They're, Absolutely, they're had a great season. Tell me a little bit about the season and the semifinals. So they had an amazing season, great sportsmanship, you know, good effort all the way through, mm -hmm. and then um, unfortunately, you know, we. We lost in the semifinals. Right. A um, little bit of a chilly night for everybody, so colder than probably any of us have played in, in the full uh, the full year. But the kids just again I'm so impressed with them because they're they're great um, athletes and they're great role models for the school. Well, the fact that they even reached the semifinals is a huge deal. How many years did you say had First it been? First time in nine years. Nine years. What does this mean for the future of football at Park City High School? I know, I think we've got, like I said, a team to watch. I think we've got kind of a young team, young coaching staff, and I think we're gonna see great things in the future. Well, I know here at Park City Television, we'll be covering everything we can, every single game. I know our producer's son is on the team, so this is close to our hearts here at Park City Television. Um, anything else we should cover? Well, we've got Mamma Mia coming up this week, so we not only have athletics and academics, but the arts, so we're looking forward to that. And then um, our TED Talks, our youth TED Talks, are actually on Wednesday as well for the full day. Tell me about the TED Talks. So the kids audition, and then they practice for about eight weeks, mm -hmm. and then they actually get the experience to do a live TED Talk in front of the entire school in front of the school as well as others that join us adults can sit up in the mezzanine and the kids really have the floor for the day that's amazing what kind of topics do you expect to hear from these they, TED talks they cover everything the really? kids cover really some hard-hitting topics some humorous topics but yeah really exciting 
Okay, very exciting stuff happening at Park City High Schools. A lot of things that have happened and a lot of things that are coming up at your schools. Thank you so much, Jill Gilday, for joining us and letting us know all that's going on. Absolutely, and we're looking forward to Thanksgiving coming up. Yes. We're off school the 21st to the 23rd. A little break. Okay, Thanksgiving yes. break coming up in just a week or two. Jill, thank you so much. Absolutely. Nice to see you, Kelly. Nice to meet you. I'm excited to see you again. Okay, we have a lot more coming up. Actually, we don't. We're wrapping up the show right after this break.